everyone. Welcome to theprofitroom.com. My name is Ernest. I'm one of the team members here. I'll be giving you what we traded the week of November 13th, 2017. But we start off Monday great. We traded JD. JD was a nice trade. We pulled about 37 cents off of this. No real follow through. So that was good to get some profits with that. We turned around and traded Matt MAT. Just pulled about 16 cents on that as well. Also, JD, eh, we lost about 20 cents. What really hurts is GE. GE was the short of the day, and we flopped this one, man. We got a nice entry at 1978 to short it, but it was in the channel, and we lost patience, and we end up washing the trade, getting out flat, and then GE just started slamming and going even lower. Kind of disappointed with that, but sometimes things happen. So we moved on to Tuesday. We started with TJX. Uh, had some um, nice movement in TJX, but we couldn't catch it right. We lost about 31 cents in TJX. We did was able to trade AAP. AAP was a nice move short. We only took about on this trade 59 cents could have got more but sometimes the way the market moves now very choppy we was grateful to get the 59 cents and had a wash trade in DKS so starting off the week a little bit light Monday and Tuesday really disappointed about GE but let's see what the rest of the week provided for the profit room so we move on to Wednesday and Thursday so here we go Wednesday. We traded TGT twice. Took a loss at 37 cents. So decided to move on TGT. Um, the way it was moving right here. Very, very choppy, but we couldn't catch a good trade with TGT. We moved on to Home Depot. Lost about 15 cents in this one as well very rangy market but remember the key to trading is consistency still the middle of the week we moved on to CTL nice 21 cent move then we went right back to TGT lost about 30 cents so that's about four trades and remember we keep our losses very tight we look for uh, to maximize on certain moves so a lot of these uh, trades they were channeling, so we have to anticipate what direction it's going to go. You know, sometimes when you're not in a trending market, uh, you really have to watch how you enter. So we're very careful about that, and we have to cut our losses very fast. Now we move on to Thursday. BBBY, excuse me, BBY. Beautiful trade. This thing dropped real fast, as you see in this tail. We was able to take 94 cents, close to one point. Very, very grateful. WMT, Walmart. We only lost about 20 cents on this trade. Move was over. Started range bounding. Tried to get a nice little retracement. So you know what? We just took it and we left it from there. So that was Wednesday and Thursday. So let's see how we closed off the whole week at the profit room. So here we go on Friday. We was able to catch a nice trade here in Foot Locker. Unfortunately, we only took 50 cents. Foot Locker popped up real fast after we got out. So we had to protect those gains. And eventually it rolled even lower. We also went to EA Sports. Caught a nice 65 cent move. See a lot of these tails that happen. So some whipsaw action. So... We know we have to book our profits fast. WSM, we traded it, lost about 25 cents, but eventually this thing rolled all afternoon. Very, 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 very disappointed in this trade. We could have capitalized off at least a point and a half or two points on WSM. But things happen. We went to AMAT, made about 36 cents in AMAT, and just a wash trade in GPS. Overall, it's a profitable week. We'll just go to our stats. That's always on our website for the public to see. Let's check those stats out. 
So we're still green for the end of the week. You know, the whole key is having consistency in your trades. You re really want to be consistent. And we put this on here so you can see our spreadsheet. If you change, you trade different share lots because our subscribers come from different backgrounds, different levels of experience in trading. Some trade only 100 shares, some trade up to two, three, four thousand shares. So we like to keep this transparent so you can see as a trader what you can expect to make on a weekly and also on a daily basis following our trades. So this is how we're doing for our month. Not as green as September and October, but you know, holiday season is coming around. Not a lot of volume is coming in and sometimes there's a lot of chop, but we're still green for the month of November. So if you want to come trade with us, come to the profitroom.com. If you want to learn how we trade, we have many products to show you how to swing trade, which is short term trading as well as day trading. We also trade futures and also Forex in our other live screen sharing trading room. As always, trade safe and enjoy your weekend. We'll see you in the profit room. Take care.